it's that time of the year again. What time? Pumpkin pie spice and pumpkin time of the year. At least for us that's celebrating fall right now, right? So I wanna show you guys how to make one single loaf of pumpkin spice bread. You're watching the Bear Pantry Show. I was gonna say pumpkin pie spice nut bread, but then I realized that I'm using more than pumpkin pie spice. I'm also using cinnamon in this bread, but I've deleted out the cloves because I don't like the smell or the taste of that, and I've deleted out the nutmeg because I'm allergic to nutmeg, and I don't have any walnuts to put in it, so it's not gonna be a nut bread. I'm gonna put dates and raisin, all right? So let's go inside the house and take a look at how we make this bread. So the first thing I gotta do is light the oven. 350. Let me get my umbrella out the way. We have a fly in the house, that's why I have that umbrella up. The next thing we're gonna do is start with the wet ingredients. So we're gonna start with the sugar. Let me get all my dry stuff. Off to the side. I'm gonna go ahead and add the egg to the sugar so that the sugar doesn't go flying everywhere when I blend. wondering guys do we even need the hand mixer we're gonna use quarter of this tin of pumpkin puree it looks like quarter honestly I feel like so far a whisk would do okay so let's get the flour only one cup check below for the ingredients baking soda baking powder so both items, cinnamon, salt, because I'm not using butter. You guys know I use a salted butter, or maybe you don't know. Hey guys, Barbara here from the Bear Pantry Show. Well, Barbara here from bearpantryshow.com. Yes, uh, my mission in life is to teach you how to cook. Why? Because if you know how to cook, it'll change your wealth and your health. So this is the famous pumpkin pie spice. I've had it for years because I very seldom use it. So I have to tell you guys that when those people came and took over my kitchen to show their cookware, I was kind of nervous. Come on in, Joe, come say hi. I was kind of nervous about having people take over my brand new, beautiful kitchen, even though it's over a year old. <laughs> and I, Joe, didn't I like kept going around like wiping up things? Well, they were wiping up things too. But then when the guy cooked over there on that, uh, Move this way on that counter. Thank you, baby. Move this way, please. Um, the stuff spattered on my glass, my glass cabinet. I had to clean it like four times with Windex and two times with vinegar and water mm -hmm. to get all that spatter off. I'm like, oh, I should have let him cook here. Hello, oh. people. Joe here. I'm outside working, making a, what do you call it? A kitchen. I'm, we've been teasing him calling it a chiffa robe. Oh, a chiffa robe. <laughs> but a chiffa robe is something that you put your clothes in. Mm. Ex excuse me, that's dates. Well, why are you eating my dates? Nobody eat dates like that. Come I'm on. I'm different. So, are we going to get this thing to come inside today? Mm -hmm. So, it's a sideboard. And he's using the leftover counter to make a lot of different little things. He made a table already for there in the dining room. And I think the sideboard's going to go there. Although it would look perfect over there where the dog stays. Or here where the baker's rack is at. We don't know. When he brings it in, we're going to see. But we can't move it too many places. It's getting heavy. Right? I'll, I'll give her a solution. Get rid of the dog. Oh. oh. Ave Maria. Mm. Why? What did the dog do to you? Well, you said need a space. Mm. By the way, this is the one affiliate that I have so far beside Amazon, mm. okay? <laughs> He's always in these people's shirt. You need to get your own shirt. He's always in, uh, in Wheelsy shirt. So Wheelsy, you can sell your old clunker to um, clunker to Wheelsy, and they'll give you a really fair price. They give you a guaranteed offer. Offer, okay? Check them out in the description. And of course, check out my Amazon link for anything that I might be showing you here today. Like, especially this. I didn't plan on showing you this, but I have to have this because there's a fly in the house. 
I'll put the link to the set of that that I have. And then if Joe would step aside a little bit, right there, right there, right there. See back there? Show them what we used to wash the clothes with, babe. Shanika, my friend, got me used to this Purcell and this Lysol thing. Joe's going to go grab it while I mix. That's what we use now. The other stuff we use it like when we run out of this. That's hard time stuff. And it's not that it's not good. It's, it's good. that these smell good. These smell good. Mm -hmm. Love this. I don't like the intense fresh. It's too much for me. I like the original, but Jada got the intense fresh when she went the last time. And this is amazing. I will put it on a rag and freshen up my couch. You know, rub off the couch and stuff. Wash the clothes, do all that good stuff with it. And of course, the link is below to my Amazon affiliate. So Joe, I have a question. Yes. How come I never have um, walnuts or pecans? Are those like super expensive nuts? All I have is yeah, almonds. You don't, you don't use them. All I have is almonds and peanuts. You don't use them. No walnuts. Ooh, this smells good. All right, so we're gonna put a little bit of dates. This is about a quarter cup of dates. I don't have any walnuts. That was a good segue, right? I don't have any walnuts. I crochet these chain stitches and have them everywhere so I could tie off things. Although when you go to these, um, what do you call, festivals, these help festivals and stuff, community festivals, they give you those clothespin things to pin your stuff shut. And I only have like two or three of those. So maybe I can get those at Amazon too. If I find them, I'll put the link below. Um, I also, I'm hooked up with YouTube shop. So if I use something that we can get like at, one of the affiliates like Target, they don't have anybody else yet that I can use. Um, I'll show you. I'll, it'll be down below on mobile. You don't, you don't see it when you're on the computer, just when you're on mobile, okay? I think we need a little bit more raisin. Not too much because I don't want raisin in every bite, right? So this recipe hopefully will give us a large loaf. Let's see. I'm going to go ahead and clean this up. My oven is ready. 350. In the time that we took to lollygog and talk a little bit here and mix this up, the, oven's, the oven is already ready, okay? And you don't have to buy the pumpkin in the can. You can buy the pumpkin because it's that time of the year right now when people are going to the pumpkin patch and buying pumpkin. But you know, people, mostly Americans, they like to make jack-o'-lanterns and stuff out of the pumpkins. And um, I don't understand that because... I don't see wasting food. Pumpkin is one of these super foods that why would I waste it? And of course, as a Belizean, we have other recipes. Well, we don't have other recipe. We make one thing with pumpkin, stew pumpkin. Let me grab a loaf pan. And I have the, um, I have the video here already at the page for the stew pumpkin, okay? That stuff is really sweet. If you're a diabetic, do not do it. Oh, there's something falling apart here. I don't find it. I, I felt it, but I don't find it. Oh, right here. My lid. My lid is falling apart. I think I'm going to flower this too. Okay? I'm going to flower it. Not just grease it, but flower it. Because this looks kind of thin. I'm wondering if this tin is going to be too big for this because it doesn't rise too much. You might have a flat pumpkin bread. You know they have the more narrow. This is a 5x9. Let me get this out of the way. I don't think this is going to come up too tall. Let me get a smaller one. 
Do you have a tape measure? What? Yes, please. Just to measure the smaller, um, what do you call the thing? Loaf no, pan. I asked him for what he said. It's outside because he's building all that stuff. Oh, he has one in here. Yeah. And he says, I should have said, don't bother. One second, babe. I am tied up right here with this thing. Yeah, I, this is better. Yeah, this is better, guys. Okay, let me see, babe. This little foolishness, is this going to work? It's going to work if you can't read it. I can't read it. It's 8 by 4 and a half. It looks like 4 and a half by 2 and a half. Okay. Well, this is 9 by 5 by almost three. I'm gonna check and find both of them for you and put it down below as a link to my Amazon affiliates page. Remember, I do get paid a commission if you use my Amazon links. And honestly guys, that is a way that you can support the show without having to give me your hard earned money. But if you do wanna give and you're watching this video on Facebook, I do have, what do they, what do they call the thing, stars? I have stars that you can give. I also have um, at YouTube, I have super everything, super chat, super sticker, super membership, whatever you have. And you know what? When YouTube and Facebook gives you that stuff, if the people don't use it, they take it back from you. Why? So I'm going to put it in. Set, oh, hold on guys. I had some left on my spatula. You guys know I don't waste like this. Why? <laughs> so I just washed my hands off. Now, while that's baking, I want to tell you guys, Joe and I went to this street festival in LA over the weekend. It's called The Taste of Soul. I think it was the 18th annual. They were off for two years in 2020 and 2021 because of the pandemic. I went in 2018 and 2019 for the first time and I went back this year for 2023. Let me tell you, I don't think I would ever go back again. So let me tell you why. It's the same kind of thing that we have here in Fontana, where you have the real estate people, the chiropractors, the dentists, the mental health people, the um, sororities and the fraternities, fraternities and stuff trying to get you to buy their goods and services, right? But also, they have food, but the taste of soul used to be more about the food. This year, it was nothing. I'm thinking, don't quote me on this, I'm thinking maybe the boots are expensive. And I'm thinking maybe upwards of like 5K. I don't think I would have been able to sell my books there. Honestly, if I had a booth, I don't think I'd be able to sell my books there. It was so hot. It was so crowded. People were there for the music. They were there for the free stuff. You know, people handing out their merch and stuff like that. And nobody was really buying anything that I could see. It was one line that had um, a food truck that had a long line and it was jerk jerk something, jerk chicken I think, they might have been Jamaicans because they were playing reggae music. So anyways, I don't think I would ever go again, but I'm glad I went this time so I could show you a little bit of footage right here. And I might make a whole vlog video for this channel where I just talk more in depth about what happened because uh, my sister also went to the Taste of Soul. She was the one that wanted to go. And then she took us to dinner at this restaurant, this Billy's restaurant afterwards. And it was a really, really amazing experience. I don't want to tell you guys too much. I might make a video on it, okay? So I'm going to let this go. Oh, let me set the timer. I'm going to let it go for 30 minutes and check on it, but we might need more time. We'll be back. I'll clean up the mess meanwhile, but we'll be back. You guys, what am I doing? Being silly, right? So the bread came out so good. Take a look. Joe already got the back. Every time we make any loaf of bread, Joe gets the back first. That's his thing. I let him have it because it kind of reminds me of my mom. When she was alive, she always got the backs of the bread too. So it did need the walnuts, but I didn't have any. This is the Bear Pantry Show. We're not going to send people out to the store for one item that we could do without. Um, the dates and the raisins look pretty in here. It smells good. I don't really like pumpkin stuff, but I tasted this already, guys, and it was pretty good. It's not gummy on the inside. It was cooked all the way through because when I tested it in a half hour, the toothpick uh, didn't come out clean. 
So I went ahead and gave it 15 more minutes and then I let it cool down completely before I sliced into it. You don't need the butter, but you can put butter on it if you want. I want to let you guys know that Joe finished my, my, what did I call it? My, um, just what am I calling Duvet. it? <laughs> Chipper 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 I've been calling it a chipper of the whole time he's been making it. Joshua said, Dubai, Dubai is a cover, Joshua. <laughs> so it's my sideboard. What's it called again? Buffet, a credenza. Yes, <laughs> I hope I'm saying the words right. Anyways, you put it on that wall. At first, we were going to put it on this wall, but then it really matched over there. I hand selected everything to go inside the thing so you could see it through. Oh my god, it's so gorgeous. I'm going to serve all my. Thanksgiving dessert off of these two things right here. So let's taste, because Joshua filming, his hands getting tired. His arms getting tired. The dance is back. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I think some dried cranberries would have done well in this too. And of course the walnuts, all right? Anyways, if you're watching me on Facebook, thank you guys for the follow. Um, if you're watching me on YouTube, thank you for the subscription. Thank you for subscribing to the channel. You guys know, let me, come here. Let me tell you something. They took away my monetization on Reels because they said, Facebook said, I put up an unoriginal content, which is not true. I don't steal things from people. I make my own content. I think it was a duplicate video of me advertising my bread book. Because sometimes when I upload to Facebook, it disappears. And then I have to go upload it again. And I think it got uploaded twice. So I took one down and I told them I want a manual review. So pray for me that they reinstate back my money for my reels because dang, what are they taking that stuff away for? Anyways, guys, I had fun making this. You guys try this. Tell me how it comes out. You guys probably have a lot of pumpkin left over if you didn't like dig out the flesh and make those jack-o'-lantern things. That's a waste, right? And um, make this and tell me how it came out. Tell me what all you put in the spice and more nuts and fruits and stuff like that, all right? I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.